Hello and welcome. This is the Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8 gameplay demo. Uh, I'm going to go about this a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to play the uh, two demos that are available, which is the repeat of the village and the repeat of the castle, which we've seen before, but they've given you an hour to play. So I'm going to jump in these, uh, play through it, kind of do a little bit of looking around and exploring. Not too much, because I want to use the remainder of my time, hopefully like maybe half an hour worth of time, just doing speed runs, because because I'm limited on time, I think the best thing that can make this more of a game to where I can like try to do better and have fun with it uh, would be... So you treat it as a speed run because it's essentially what it is. You have a time limit. So I'm trying to see how many speed runs I can get in uh, back and forth between castle and village. And I hope you'll enjoy. So if you haven't already, please hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification bar so that you know when I do go live uh, with Resident Evil Village uh, next week. Uh, and I've also been doing streams of Returnal. I've uh, been doing streams of Immortals, Phoenix Rising, Cyberpunk, all that jazz. Please join me. And I appreciate you joining me on this gameplay demo slash speedrun a village Resident Evil. Let's get started. Here we go. I think I'm going to play I wonder if these are the exact same demos that we've already played. They just give you more time. In life and in death we give glory. Yeah, this looks like the uh, same demo from uh, before. It shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? It's you, the child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? <sighs> the castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? Does she slowly walk away, or does her character suddenly disappear? Because it goes around a corner then disappears. All right, so last time I played this, I pretty much wasted my, my time. Um, so I, I think I have an idea of where it is that I'm supposed to go, what it is I'm supposed to do. Um, but we'll do a little bit of exploring. And it's going to be, I'm going to be a little uh, <laughs> upset if, um, uh, if this demo, once I finish it, that's all I get. Like even if I finish it in 15 minutes. Like, I should be able to come back here and play it for, you know, another 45 minutes if I do it in 15 minutes. Um, or if I'm only locked into uh, this particular demo. It looks like that eye is glinting, right? As if it's something I need to, to grab. It's definitely got a, uh, a glint to it, right? You see that? Can't seem to get up to it, though. I'm sure that they've uh, kind of locked some things out that I can't get everything. All right, so I wish that they would have that little sound that the door you're bumping into, it, it, you're interacting with it, but it's not not unlockable. It's, the game looks really good. I mean, I'm it, no matter how the demo, I, I know I'm being really nitpicky. I'm, I'm being maybe a little selfish, too, uh, that I wish the demos could just be replayable infinitely. Uh, it's a it's a very small chunk. I mean, they cut it off once you're done anyway. It's not like you can just go into the full game and just rush around through all parts of the available game. It's 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 very limited. So, so they did that uh, that right. But if you're going to give me a demo at all, um, have it something like I'd like to just sit in here and spend like 15 minutes just looking at everything. But I know that I can't. And that does two things. I mean, I, I guess it does a, a good job of forcing the people to. Uh, kind of get through and try to see as much as they can in a small in a very uh, small amount of time and not linger but I'm hoping that in the main game there's a lot of things to do and see that would cause you and want you to linger uh, if it's just going to be this kind of rush game then it's just a big version of mercenaries but uh, I have seen the story I've seen a lot of stuff that makes me excited to explore 
and uh, experience this new story. Uh, and I'm really hoping, I imagine that it will happen once the PlayStation VR 2 comes out, that we will get uh, this game on the PlayStation VR 2. All right. At some point I meet uh, the family. That's one of two. More things to look at here. That resolution is really, really low. All right. Yeah, and I got a timer. I'm at about uh, roughly six minutes in. Maybe five minutes. Guess this leads to the castle. Right, that's one of two. This is where I meet the family at some point. I think there's a side area that I get to. It's down over here. Yeah, and there's this uh, monster or something in here. My god, it's full of flour. Ooh, that actually got me. Okay. Is that new? I don't think that uh, shotgun was there before, was it? I don't think any of this stuff was available in the uh, first demo. Okay, real quick, sorry. I'm going to go into gameplay settings, display, brightness. I'll turn the brightness up a little bit. Right. Yeah, I think I've turned off HDR in um, so the photo mode looks like just from first person perspective. That's kind of a bummer. Camera. Depth of field effects. Okay, not much of a photo mode when I'm stuck to the uh, camera that I'm currently looking at and not being able to move the camera around. Yeah, I can't jump over that part of the fence, but I can only jump over this part of the fence. I think that's silly. Like, like this wouldn't let me. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it does. Oh, so I don't jump. I just move and it automatically jumps over. Okay. Interesting if I could go through that hole. Alright, I'm about nine minutes in. It's just, man, if it's not something that I can really do anything with, I keep like getting distracted by that. Alright, can I go open over this? Now see, like, what what is stopping me from going over this? This is this is a game that is on rails. I mean, I know it's not going to be on rails, it's going to be a great game, and it's going to be an amazing experience, but, like, this tells me that the game is on rails. Like, I should be able to leap over this. I know it's not an open world game either, but if I can leap over that, I can be able to leap over that as well. Just, just silly. Yeah, taste it. Photo mode. Area view. Can't zoom in. I can't uh, pretty much do anything. Well, I can change. Okay, it makes it a little bit brighter. That's interesting. Lens distortion. Frames. Little village. Yeah, sure, that's cool. 
Or at least it'll be something in a photo mode. Stay back. Please don't hurt us. Whoa. Okay, great. I'm gonna skip. Sorry. Anybody can watch those. I've seen them elsewhere. Nothing new. Gotta spend time doing other things, right? Uh, my knife is what? Do I not have a knife? Uh, underground buildings. Uh, there it is. That up. Alright, so... I think uh, the plan is to find a way into the... Uh, so, like, uh, watch watch this. Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. Yep, right up here. Alright, so I climb up here. Pick up gunpowder. I climb through here. Now, I should be able to climb back through because I just climbed over. Like, <laughs> this is this is what makes some games like this. I mean, again, I love the Resident Evil series. I've been playing it since Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation 1. Like, I'm, I'm all in. I'm, I'm not going to be turned away. It's just like, in this day and age, just... Like, I should be able to climb back over that. It just kind of really removes you from uh, what games should be when they put you on rails. But anyway, but I know this is, this is what... I spent too much time last time just trying to figure out I was supposed to unlatch this door. Come on, it's clear. Yeah, come on, let's go. Hurry up. Hurry! And way too much time in these cutscenes. Like, in... Like, I have a knife... I have a knife. I should be able to unscrew that, but I can't. And I'll even show you. Like, I can't go in here, and I can't use my knife or anything. Like, I should be able to use my knife to take off that screw. Just hold right. on a bit longer. Let's get inside. Hello. Let's skip this. Everybody's seen this stuff. Like, this isn't new stuff. And I want more time to play and do other things. Kind of cycle through this a little bit. I don't think everybody cycles through this too much. This way. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a second. I'm going to cycle through a couple more of these if I can. Actually, it looks like physical pages, so there should be one last page. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's go in, and we're going to skip this whole thing, because people have already seen this. I just want more time to play. She's going to shoot him with a shotgun. Let him go. Skip that. And again, everybody's already seen all this stuff, right? You've already seen the cutscenes. I just want to get in and maybe see something that I haven't seen a lot of. Now, I got stuck in here. This is where my last uh, experience uh, ended. Uh, because I thought I had searched here and... Maybe I didn't, and I could never find these keys. Uh, and I know we can go in here, and there's a screwdriver in here. Yay, I found the screwdriver. Beautiful. That's the one thing I couldn't find for some odd reason. All right, that gives me coin. I mean, the game is good. Like, I, I can't... There's a lot of non-interactivity, like all this stuff right here. Um... I'd, I'd like to be able to pull out my gun and start shooting things up and just have fun that way, interacting with the world. I mean, it's a beautiful looking world, or at least let me be able to, I'd like to pick this up and look at it. I mean, this, all the work that's been putting in, put into this, um, it'd be cool to be able to interact with it a little bit more. All right, so we're uh, kind of approaching 15 minutes here, so we're going to grab that, and I think we're going to be done here. All right, and then I think I go out to the, the truck, Damn, the start the truck. Fast. Now we're gonna truck key. I'm gonna skip this. Skip this. Everybody's Don't seen worry. all this. Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. <coughs> All right, let's get past that. She fell down on the fire. Poor her. I just don't get it. All right, it's a nice vista. We'll skip that. 
Alright. Again, this is the, as far as I've ever been. Alright, I can't pull out my weapon. We're gonna use a screwdriver. See, I could have I could have done that with my knife. If I'm careful with it and I use the right side of it, but, you know, use the bottom uh, edge of the blade, I should definitely have been able to do that. Alright, so let's go back out. This is where we see uh, Mother Miranda. Mother Miranda! Mother Miranda! I would like to run forward. Alright, again, everybody's seen this. There's my weapon. Just gonna run through all this. Death. Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> Oh, she probably drew that on the floor. Alright, um... Where was it that I uh, did the... Again, I haven't been through this part of the game. So I need to go back. Uh, where was it that I needed to go? Get out here. And this is the end of the demo, I think. Is it? Okay, the game's taking control from me. Nothing but blood and death. Alright, everybody's already seen this. Alright, like the castle is going to be... And again, this is just one part of it. Uh, there are multiple castles. Uh, and this is the one that we're all kind of familiar with, so... Uh, da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. Alright, I know that I can go into here. I'm going to open this up. I don't know if I'm forced to crawl through it right away. Uh, okay, jump up. Why do, is, why do I feel like I'm crouching right now? There it is, okay. So R3 does the crouching. Alright, right, cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. Like, uh, I get it. I mean, maybe they want us to push through, but I'm more of an exploratory, or an explorer. I like games that allow us to explore. And there's definitely stuff that I'd like to sit here and look at for longer periods of time. But I'm at least get through it. And then we'll figure out the uh, rest when the actual game comes out. In about six days, I've been playing Returnal, and that's a great game. Um, and you know, I, I get it. Like I've, I've been really upset with how like the demo because, you know, I'm gonna be, um, you know, maybe a little upset and a little, you know, it's all personal and it's all selfish because I, I love the Resident Evil series games like millions of people do. I'm not the only person, um, but I was really hoping for. Um, a demo that I could really sink my teeth into and not feel like I was rushing through it. Starting to think of that uh, previous. Let me see if I can shoot. Wow, that's a strong vase. Strong book. <laughs> I know I'm wasting ammo, but. Alright. I think another thing is uh, I'm not quite sure how much coin they give us. Yeah, I'll start with. 5,000 uh, lay, is it lay? Uh, knife. A fragment that I could probably sell. 
this looks like a panel, right? Does it look like a panel? There's something behind it. See, this is what would make the Resident Evil, that's what made the Resident Evil 7 demo so great because people could sit there and really analyze stuff like, oh man, that must be a panel of some kind and then people maybe find the secret. I mean, it, even just look at the way that the light right here, this, oh wait, I came through here. Was that where I came through? <laughs> Never mind. But it, anyway, it, it'd be stuff like that. Um, people come over and they find and they discover things um, like that by spending their time, just like if they could overanalyze this tassel. Yes, that's where I came through, but anyway. I got a little turned around. See, like, let, this this stuff should get destroyed. We're, we're in the... Uh, we're in the new generation. This is PlayStation 5. I know they're also letting it on PlayStation 4, but even on the PlayStation 4, I mean, this stuff should be destructible. And I know that they're probably going to also say, well, I mean, they don't want you to make too much noise because the sisters are looking for you, or Lady Demiscri, Demiscu, whatever her name is. Uh, they, they could hear you. All right, so rotten fruit. I mean, there's not, there's not even... Might making slashes in it? I'm not making any slashes in it. Like, uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna love the game. I'm just, I I I wonder if people are gonna overanalyze this game. Like, they would do this to Cyberpunk 2077, and I don't have a problem with it really. Like, they're the point of the game is the story and you know the Resident Evil formula. Um, so I'm not too concerned about like the stuff that like. Oh my gosh, I'm swinging and it doesn't leave any uh, marks in the in the wood or the door. Uh, let's see if I can switch over to my gun. Oh my gosh, the bullet doesn't leave bullet holes in the, in the door. Like, I don't really care too much about that. Like, for Cyber Cyberpunk 2077, they were, like, shooting at the water and it was like, oh, and then they compare it to GTA. It was like, oh, look, GTA can shoot in the water and make splashes, so why can't this game? Where have they taken Rose? All right. We don't think... And this is something I find funny, too. It's like, look at all that writing. Look at all this writing. How many lines we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not ten lines of writing. What does it say? Two lines. Mask, <laughs> mask the angel's blinded gaze, and only then will you be saved. You're telling me that all this says those two lines? Beautiful. All right. Let's buy some stuff. Oh. I don't really care. People can watch that. Let's open oh, the shop. Yes. All right, let's go to supplies. Let's get some... Uh, do we want to get am ammo? Extra baggage. Oh, 10,000. Don't want that. Um, shotgun shells. For, are those shotgun shells? Oh, that's a recipe. Okay, never mind. Um, let's buy that. I see. Anything else? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, all this other stuff is going down. Let's uh, see other. Can I sell stuff? Please let me know if you'd like to strengthen your weapons. Crystal fragment. We'll sell one of those. Crimson glass. First aid. We're keeping that. Keeping the handgun. We're keeping that. Uh, do I want to sell this gun and get a? Better gun? Alright, let's just sell that for now. And buy it I will. Alright, and then let's see what we got here. Let's make sure I still got my weapon I do. A good Th deal, if I say so myself. A good deal if I do say well, my bad. Feel free to peruse. Alright, so we'll go over to the gun. Uh, so it's only one gun. Uh, I should probably change my power. Level two that costs three thousand five hundred. Rate of fire, reload speed, ammo capacity. Um, I think we'll do this power right here. One moment, please. All right, and then I'm not really don't really care about the rate of fire right now. This is uh, all an investment, even. Everything is a price. This is me just selling stuff, supplies. I already have this shotgun. What does this do for me? Uh, customizable part for a shotgun greatly increases rate of fire. I don't really care. High capacity mag. Um, that's 5,000 exactly. 
Let's get uh Thank you one, for your one, purchase. One of those, let's get more ammo. Alright, cool. Um for the shotgun rate of fire. Yeah. Wish I could buy one more of these. Um we'll buy that. I saw you eyeing that one. And let's get more of this. Okay, that should be plenty of stuff. Pretty much pretty much spent everything I had. And I've got plenty there. It says seven rounds. Items, treasure. Why does it not look like I have a ton of rounds? It looked like I still have... Oh, you know what? I didn't have a shotgun. I thought I brought the shotgun from the previous uh, run. Alright, anyway. My bad. <laughs> it's like, you're, why are you buying all the uh, ammo for the shotgun when you don't even have a shotgun? That was bad on me. Bad on me. That was some wasted... Uh, maybe I'll just quickly finish this one and then... Uh, Make another run. Should have a little over half an hour left. And you can get through these uh, these runs in about 15 minutes. The audio is really good. I do enjoy the... Uh, the audio is done very, very, very well. Not much... Surprised that those don't have a little bit of uh, movement in them. Nothing happens. There's probably something that I need to get power for. And I don't think there's anything new. Maybe if I do this, they won't come at me. Alright, so now you got your girl shouldn't come at me. I've already uh I've killed you in the in the past. Alright. Pretty good pop in right there on both of them. Anyway, I could go high and right and say, "Oh my gosh, that's not next gen." It's a little bit nitpicky, though. Really nitpicky. All right, I know I have to go up the stairs uh, on the other side. Um, wish there was a. Shoulder battery's about dead. All right, bam, 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 bam. All right, up the stairs. This is where I'm gonna meet the sister. I'm gonna. I could shoot at her, I, but again, it's a. Oh, is he sleeping now? I've heard people say that that he starts to sleep. He was sleeping. Unless there's somebody else up here. Surprised I can hear him all the way over here. Alright, that was a locked door from before. Some of the most uh, resilient uh, China in in all of the world. But look at how robust this thing must be. Oh, and a single swipe breaks it into a thousand pieces. Mm. It's more window dressing than it is uh, interaction with some of these things. All right, pick up that. See, like, should be able to destroy those things. Nope, 
I know I can't interact with that. I'd have to have a bottle, and I think it's the bottle that you take from Lady D. Alright, here's where I think I encounter the sister in this hall, maybe. I think I go through this door, right? Yeah. Alright, so I go through this door, and I interact with her. And then, don't try to fight her, because she's just going to kill you anyway. Gonna skip past that. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up. Slice your jugular. Taking a live, dead, which would you prefer? It's not this room, is it? I can't hold back any longer. Which room was it? Not this room. My blood is pumping. <laughs> you will look wonderful mounted in our hall. <laughs> yes. Yes. Was it this room? Oh yeah, it was this room. My bad. I wasted a ton of uh, ammo. 21 shots. Okay, this is where I come up on the lady. Alright, we're going to pause here real quick. Alright, back in it. Yeah, there's definitely a trigger. She'll stand there until you hit this trigger spot, and then she'll move. For some reason, uh, she must have locked the door behind her, because, I mean, she didn't know I was here. She's locking it for herself, right? Nobody else gets in here, because nobody wants to take the wine. Alright. So we're going down into, essentially this castle demo is just the maiden demo in reverse. Like that, uh, that little um, box that I just crushed, one swipe, right? Nothing, nothing there. Can't destroy these. <laughs> Weird, right? All right, this one I just push into. I've seen some people use like bullets, but you don't need to. All right, nice and dark. It is very atmospheric. Does uh does look pretty cool. Everything looks really really nice. I don't know why they need to translate that. I don't know if they feel feel people can't read that, so they have to put captions on it. It's like you get the people that talk in a different accent or a different language, but they're trying to speak in your language, and people can understand it, but they still feel the need to put captions on. I find that extremely hilarious. Like, if I want captions on, then I'll turn them on. Um, but, I know, there's, there's options, right? There's options. All right, I'm about to come up on... Yeah, I bought all those uh, shotgun rounds, and I don't even have a shotgun. I should be able to run somewhere. There is a, there is a place to run. I don't have to stick around here. I think... Can I put this in a... Fast use slot. I don't want to use it. Maybe I do want to use it. Alright, gun. I think there's a spot that I run to.
This is the end of the demo right here. They don't seem to follow me. Can I go back down? So apparently I don't exist. Apparently I don't exist uh, in this hallway. But I mean, maybe they're thematically will say that they're there to guard that area. Cassandra caused all this mess. This is the end, like I'm coming up to it right here. Which tools do you prefer? And that's the end. Where are you going, little one? <gasps> uh. oh. uh. 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 And in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You Rose is here? Alright, so we need to pick up two crests. One of them's up here in the church. Which I think is just off to our right here. Alright, first one's in here. Grab that one. We're going to go through here, to our left. We're going to grab the shotgun out of the shed, just in case. I don't think I've ever gotten uh, hit by uh, this guy. Okay. We'll get this just in case. Again, ammo for... And don't you, There's no real interaction here. Stay to my left here. None of this stuff touches you. You don't have to shoot anything. Close the door. I say none of it's going to touch you, and then one of them actually bumps into me. Again, if you get through there fast enough, uh, nothing touches you. Nothing you should be worried about, I guess. And again, all these cutscenes, like, you waste so much time when you could go online and watch most of what they're going to show you. I don't know if I have to interact with stuff in order for her to come out, but we'll see. I think it's just a timed thing. Like, there's no ma no matter what. Come on, come on out of there. Okay. This way. I know. I, like, I can get there faster than she can, but I have to wait for her. Like, this is, there's no choice. She'll walk right through me. She doesn't exist. Oh, she pushes me aside. Good. I'm glad she didn't glitch through me. Alright, let's go, go, go. Alright, let me get through this. It's not even worth shooting. Like, there is no reason to shoot at all. I mean, I guess you could save your uh, ammo for something else, but... Alright... Turn the key. I could probably do that faster. Okay, go back out. Damn, the fire's moving fast. Skip. Get the gas. Skip. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. Get past her. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're cut. You're cut. Oh, I'm moving too fast for you. I just don't get This is a cutscene. <laughs> There's certain things that you think uh, shouldn't be cutscenes, but they are. Like I've seen um, some of the speedrunners that play this game um, go through menus wicked fast. Like they know. Like 
I didn't even know that was a cutscene. I don't think there's any monsters in here. Run right past her. I don't care what she says. Yeah. You got. Death has visited them all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Go in there. It's gonna be the maiden crest. You're gonna rotate it this way. I feel like maybe it's random in there, but it's good there. Set. 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 And demon crest. Rotate there. Good to go. And that's the end of the demo. Push through. And that's it. 3.43. Cutscene. Skipping it. Alright, I'm going to use this just for money. I may not need that at all. Shadows look really good, though. Again, sometimes I get hit by the sisters. Sometimes I get hit by those... Uh, shuffling monk men down in the prison. I need a little bit of health and maybe the shotgun. But I don't need any of this scrap or what I like to call crap. Wish I could manipulate the eye right now. Did I have to go back into my menu? Right, I think I go to the l left or the right. You go to the left, right? Yeah, left. Oh, but I need to get this right here. Have that. Don't really care about the bullet. Probably should have used my Take knife. Just going to get some health and the shotgun. Skip oh. that. Well then, feel free to peruse. Alright, we're going to go in the deuce purse. We're going to sell that and sell that. You're yes. Going. Yes, I've go over here to supplies. Stock. Right, that, that. Probably do everything huh? with the shotgun, huh? Um, supplies, let's get one of these. Alright, should be enough. Have a wonderful adventure. Really, all I want to use is a shotgun. If there's anything, just shooting at the... Uh, I don't think I'll bump into the sisters. Uh, unless I, I... Sometimes I have made a mistake, though. Or... I can't skip past this. <gasps> I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Take it alive, dead, which would you prefer? I sometimes think that the animations that they use for pulling off the paneling is a uh, is a cutscene. This way. Yes, there's a hand in there. I probably wasted about a couple of seconds. <laughs> All right. Push the fire. Push the fire. Open the door. Go 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 go. All right. I think I have to go around this way. I might be going long ways. I don't know for sure. Sandra caused all this mess. I need to, like, she's gonna probably get me on this one. Which tools do you prefer? Three minutes. Next. In life and in death. Again, I'm mashing the uh, start button to try to get the skip menu. Uh, hello? 
Rose as soon here? as it comes up. Again, this time I'm not going to get any weapons, so we should be able to save some time there. I am going to go here and get this first. Turn around. Again, I'm not going to get the weapons this time. I'm going to see how far I can get without weapons. Hopefully I don't get... I might get nudged, but hopefully I can get through here without uh, too much trouble. This. Again, I feel like this is really what the demo is good for because if you explore, you're going to, uh, your game's going to be over through one playthrough. So it's almost like this is the best thing to use the game for. Alright, we'll look at some pictures. I don't know if this expedites her coming out or not. But I think she comes out at the same time, no matter what. Come on. This way. Yeah, okay. I know which way to go. Can't go in there until she comes. You know, when I get the main game, that's when I'll uh, try to... I think maybe walking forward towards that guy might make things a little bit faster. Come on. And the key... Oh, it was already there. Uh, I wasted a couple seconds there. Is there a quick turnaround? Oh, there is. Okay. Damn, the fire's moving fast. Can't believe getting in the truck is a cutscene. Don't worry. Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> I just don't get it. And getting through menus is also sort of like one of those things that uh, you can speed up time aiming the camera at the right spot so that. You can grab onto things. Oh, it's not giving it to me. What the heck's going on? Come on, come on, come on. That wasted about two seconds. Probably faster. Waiting for control. And that's it. It's 326. Next. Alright, I have two <laughs> minutes and 27 seconds. So, I think what I'm going to do on this one... Uh, this is going to be a castle run. I'm going to try to see if I can get through it without buying anything. To see if I can... Because I probably spend maybe 15 or 20 seconds um, in the store or picking up things that I need to buy. So I have an idea of which direction I need to go. Um, I'm not going to stop by and buy anything at the store. I'm not going to pick up any the... Um, the chalice or the crystal to sell that. Um, I'm just going to go as fast as I can, as straight as I can. I think the problem I'm going to have, I get a little disoriented down below in the um, uh, the prison. And then when I first escape the, uh, like the scrambling monks, uh, I also get up and I kind of encounter another sister. And I kind of get turned around in there, so that might slow me down. So... Two minutes, 27 seconds to try to get through the castle demo. Can I do it? 
on hardcore. Here we go. Again, pushing the start button to get into the skip menu. All right, skipping all this. Straight to here. All right, Beeline, we're not going to pick up anything. We're not going to go shopping. We're just going to see if we can go straight to it. So I'm going over there to this right here. Picking this up. Taking that. Uh, nope, that probably s wasted some seconds. I'm opening this up so that I can get that. Go, 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 go. All right, I'm going to turn to the left as soon as I get out of here. Pressing forward, pressing forward, pressing forward. I don't think I'm going to make it, but... We're going to try. All right, so I'm not going to buy anything. I think I save probably a good 20 seconds not going in there to buy anything. The only thing I'm going to have to use the gun for, um, and I do have a gun, the only thing I'm going to have to use it for is maybe to shoot the shambling uh, monks down in the, in the prison. Slice your jugular and just watch. Taking a live, dead witch witch forever. I can't hold back any longer. I don't think I have enough time. Especially downstairs. I'm going to get a little disoriented down in the prison. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Yes. Thought I was going to miss it. That would have saved. That would have been a ton of extra time. So I think I have to turn to the left here and go around here. I think I can skip past one of these guys by going through here. Oh, really? Was that, was that really already two minutes? No way. No way. That was not two minutes, was it? Eh, maybe it was. I don't know. That's no way that was two minutes. All right. Well, there it is. Um, you can see my other speed runs. Uh, you can see how about the time I was going for there. I probably should have just done the entire uh, hour of me just doing back-to-back -back speed runs. Because that's pretty much all that it is good for, are speed runs. When you have a time limit, you're trying to get as much gaming that you can in that limited amount of time. And I think speed runs are probably the best thing. And, I mean, Resident Evil is known for uh, people doing speedruns, amongst other games. I mean, uh, again, I'm looking forward to uh, Resident Evil Village, or Village Resident Evil, or Resident Evil 8 Village. Like, I don't know what kind of uh, packaging. I'm sure it's going to say Village on the front of the packaging. Um, but, obviously, it's Resident Evil 8, because 8 is in the title Village, but it's Village Resident Evil. It's... Um, yeah, uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for joining me on this uh, demo gameplay forward slash speed run. Um, another six days until Resident Evil 8 comes out, and I am excited to experience the story. I don't think there's going to be... I've said this before, I think it's leaning a little bit more towards Call of Evil. It's very cinematic. Um, there's not a lot of horror. It's just sort of uh, mysterious. Uh, it's kind of where Resident Evil 6 ended up. And then when they went to first person uh, view for Resident Evil 7. Big departure. Um, so I'm sure the story is going to be great. The fact that it's in first person view is important. Um, which means it should come to VR. PSVR 2. Don't think we're going to get it on uh, PS uh, VR no. 1. 
maybe we'll get an update. I don't know. This keeps making me think of Call of Evil. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. I mean, but Chris has always been a part of a task force of some kind. Now do me and finish the job. And I think Chris is a lichen. I think he's been infected of some kind, and he changes based off that image. But I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Um, I'm not going to pre-order it, but I probably will buy. Uh, I don't think I want to get a digital copy because I have a physical copy of every Resident Evil game that has been released ever. Um, I even have the uh, PlayStation 1, that huge jewel. Not a jewel. I don't know if it's called a jewel case, but there was those large plastic cases um, that they came in. They kind of had this opening door <laughs> on them. They were pretty massive. Um, I have that Resident Evil. All right, so thanks again. I appreciate you watching, and I will uh, see you guys on the next video.